Hello there. Let's check this chart. What's going on there? The red line is crypto. The blue line is AI. AI and crypto are both new technologies that people are talking about. In this video, I'll talk about what they are and which one might be more important in the future. In a moment, I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison of AI and crypto and explain what makes them different. So I want to start with the Google Trends chart showing AI and crypto. Now, both of those technologies are with us for some time, but let's zoom in and I'm going to explain what happened in last few years. So the first spike for crypto happened in 2018 and was happened by the massive influx of retail investors. Then in 2021, we had two more crypto spikes. Things got really interesting in end of November 2022. And that was the moment when ChatGPT was released by OpenAI. There are actually two things on this chart worth mentioning. First is that AI blue line is slowing down when you take a look on the end of the chart. And second, I want to point out that the red spike in May 2021 is still much higher than AI line. Speaking about AI trend line, I want to bring up John Carmack's quote from his Q&A article. And I'm just going to read it. We're in the midst of a scientific revolution right now, because 10 years ago, there was not the sense that AI was working. We've had these AI winters, a couple of them over the decades, in fact. There are many things to unpack here in those two sentences. First is that, in fact, AI is going on for many decades, but it never actually worked to the point that it was useful for humans. Like the promise of artificial intelligence and the robots taking our jobs. And the thing is that until this moment, AI actually never worked, was never that helpful for humans. Well, something's changed, let's see what. We know that this pivot moment was ChatGPT. Here is the timeline of the trends what happened in last year, 2022. And we can see that COVID is sunsetting, NFTs are still the thing, Ukraine war, Johnny Depp. And we see that tech layoffs happened during the 2022, which happened also in crypto industry. And then in the midst of the tech layoffs, FTX fraud was exposed. And in end of November, December, OpenAI released ChatGPT. And that was this swap moment. One last thing that I want to point out that there is on the very bottom, there's a trend about the nuclear fusion. And it's really related to all of this AI thing going on because AI consume like crypto, a lot of energy and nuclear fusion will make this energy cheaper in the future. Now, obviously the Twitter deity also jump on the hype wagon and use this opportunity to tweet the quote, I used to be in a crypto, but now I got interested in AI. It's actually spot on. I think the same. A lot of tech people they used, that used to be in tech, they're shifting and moving to AI. Okay, let's move on to the comparison table now. On the left, we have Crypto Web 3 and on the right, we have Artificial Intelligence. So I tried to point those two industries in a similar point in time for a better comparison. We know that crypto actually started in 2009, but the major retail bull run started in 2018. And also we know that AI is going for many decades, but actually the, the whole thing about AI started in 2017 with the uh, Transformers open source paper from Google. So I want to start with the goal. Crypto is decentralized and the promise was that it's safe and secure for transactions and application. I actually don't think that it holds truth. Like it is decentralized, but I don't think it's that turbo safe. Like there's quite a lot of scam in crypto uh, industry. On the AI side, the goal is to actually create a 
intelligence, artificial intelligence. Right, so what problems are solving those technologies? Crypto, obviously cryptocurrencies transfers, and on the blockchain side, ownership of the record. So we can have a history recorded. It's working. AI, on the other hand, solves uh, productivity, creativity, and helps with the cognitive labor. And in the end, by doing so, expand economy. So use cases, we're gonna go a little bit more in detail. Obviously the cryptocurrencies. I highlighted trading because when you ask the common person on the street, crypto, they will immediately say about the trading crypto is buying low, selling high, which is a classic FOMO, fear of missing out. And the second thing is NFTs. For AI, there are a lot of applications and there are no clear one or two use cases like for crypto, but okay, recently everyone's talking about ChatGPT, which is chatting, but AI also can give you, you know, image generations, generation like mid journey, speech recognition, like iPhone, or in a car, Alexa, automation, predictions in insurance, vision, like Tesla self-driving using vision or GPT. Now I want to talk about the adoption because most people don't talk about it. But if you look on the big tech, the big companies adopting those two technologies. So from famous Fang, which is Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, only Facebook adopted crypto and they have their own coin and they closed this project. Now, contrary to AI, all of those companies embrace AI. Facebook, huge open source contributor to AI. Amazon positioned themselves as a cloud for AI applications. Apple, they even designed a chip with neural nets. Netflix, recommendation engine. And Google is also, you know, they created this transformer open source paper, which actually kickstarted all of this revolution. Moving on, on the job market. So I'm looking right now on the UK job market, comparing crypto and artificial intelligence. We can see that for AI, we have 600 live jobs openings. The second one is actually cryptology, so it's security, not crypto, uh, not cryptocurrency. And cryptocurrency, we have 35, which means that it's 1 to 20, 5%. So it's 20 times larger AI. We can see the AI trending for last five years, basically since this 2017 Transformer paper. It's good to see that job market actually confirmed the Google trends and what's going on, that it all started in 2017. And then we can see the cryptocurrency job vacancy trend. And we see that actually 2018, there was a massive retail bull run, which spiked in the in jobs and then 2021 and then get back. So, so to me, it looks like the crypto job market is correlated with the crypto price. Okay, and on the AI side, I want to show you the article that says that one in four companies have already replaced workers, but I want to show you some of my highlights. They savored a 1000 US businesses and 50% of them said they are using ChatGPT, 30% plan to start using. On the green, I highlighted that 48% of companies using ChatGPT say it's replace workers, which I don't find to be true, to be honest. Now, going below, I highlighted the one that you're using, 57% of, of them said that they're using it for customer support and 52% they're using for creating summaries of meetings or documents. And I totally agree with it because I use it for the same thing myself. Now let's compare crypto and AI in terms of the market cap. Crypto at the high of the bull market was valued at about $3 trillion. And you can see that in 2018, when this first retail bull market start, as a side note, I want to say that it's actually really good that all of those charts 
Google Trends, job vacancy in trends, crypto are in line and showing the same. So in 2018, we had this spike. Then in 2021, we hit 3 trillion and we're back to 1 trillion. With AI, it's not that simple. I've seen on the internet valuation around 250 billion and uh, 13 billion. So Market Insider uh, says that Cathie Wood's ARK Invest Fund sees 200 trillion potential for AI. Now, in terms of the big players among those two, we know that cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, were the biggest, actually Doge, I, I think it's a dead project now. Then we've got uh, NFTs. And then we have exchanges like Coinbase, Binance and FTX, which we know was a scam. On the AI side, we have obviously big players like ChatGPT, all fine companies, Tesla for self-driving or robots like Boston Dynamics, etc. It's also worth to say that in the last 10 years, there was a massive long bull run and crypto had bull and bear markets during this time. Now we have tough times and crypto is going down, but AI is taking off despite hard times and valuation compressions. The next thing I want to show you is a chart from GitHub as a source showing the developer adoption of the technologies. Specifically, I want to focus on stable diffusion, which is image generation AI technology behind Midjourney and DALI. On the bottom axis, you have days since repository was started by a developer. And you have first two is Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can see a nice S curve. Then you've got other data technologies databases, Kafka, Spark, and then Stable Diffusion, which are all nice. But when you see Stable Diffusion, it's something unheard of. It shows the speed, how developers are jumping on this AI wagon. For another perspective, I want to show just the history of only ChatGPT, only last three months history. So we can see that it hit 5 million users very quickly. Then we know that it passed the medical license exam, ChatGPT. Then in January, it hit 100 million users, which was faster than Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everything what you know. It's like the fastest adoption of this new technology. At some point of time, we measured ChatGPT IQ, by the way, which is a moving target. And recently we know that, that Google went full code red and invest 300 million in the ChatGPT competitor, which is Anthropic AI. So this short timeline shows the uh, big companies reacting to one product. Let's see how AI affecting normal people, like in terms of emotions. So you probably heard about this new TikTok filter and many people are starting using AI and they reacting so hundreds of thousands or even millions of people in all age groups are starting to experience AI firsthand. And they are amazed. They reacting with emotions. And they know that AI will be here to stay. Moving back to engineers and developers, I found a blog post of one developer that used to work on crypto. Let me actually just read it. I enjoyed the time I spent experimenting in the crypto space. I learned and gained much because of it, but it's clear to me that my heart is in AI. Going forward, 
I'll be watching the industry from the sidelines. I'm excited to see what progress the true believers make. Developers that used to work for on crypto projects, they're focusing now on AI. And there's a reason behind this. Let me read it. AGI is pretty much the only thing I care about now. If we solved it, solve it, we solve everything. I'll be incredibly shocked if we don't see AGI in my lifetime. And it seems increasing. So what I'm saying is that crypto people often view AI uprising and movement as another layer layer on top of crypto web free layer. And I kind of agree on that, but here, you know, solving the, the AGI will probably solve more problems than just what crypto solves. What I'm trying to say is that in general, crypto was used to solve problems related to fintechs, finance, currency, and payments. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm limited. You know, I know about the NFTs and actually, you know, I'm, I'm curious about your opinion. If you can comment down below, please do so. Okay, on the end, I want to finish with this meme. Last year, investors put $2.6 billion into 110 generative AI-focused startups in US alone. And, you know, some of them are just wrapping the API from OpenAI company, the one that behind the chat GPT, and then adding a marketing layer, you know, the UI, you know, nice, good looking website. And they're worth now billions, millions, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm curious about your opinion about that. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess the time will tell. What do you think?